Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're doing a memory plan with me for the week of August 2nd through the 8th. So this was the week before school started and we were prepping, but it was pretty relaxed at school. I mean, we had meetings and stuff, but it was pretty chill. I have a really cute kit from Lemon and Honey Studio. I wanted to do a couple of kind of back to school kits and this one definitely caught my eye. I got three pages here. I've got the full boxes, the washi page, and the page two. So here are the full boxes. Just really bright and fun. And then I loved how graphic this is. And then the little ruler washi that's so cute. And then the boxes page just has a bunch of stuff on it. So I think this is going to be plenty for me for this spread and I'll pull in like some character stickers and stuff, but I'm ready to get into it. So let's get started. First, I'm going to lay down the bottom washi and it comes in two strips. So I decided to lay down the bigger strip first and then just layer the shorter strip right above and I'm just trimming on this side because both strips are the same length. I actually appreciate this because a lot of shops these days actually run short and this one I totally do not mind trimming. I would rather it be too long than too short so totally good with that. And then moving on to glitter headers. I forgot to pull some before I laid down this spread and so I went and grabbed these blue ones. Just some old uh, glitter headers in my stash and then I'm just placing those across the top and then I'm going to put in the date covers right above and I just liked this blue it matches pretty much perfectly with the spread and I really like the pop off of the date covers I just think that looks really pretty and fun very colorful spread when it's all done and then we're going to go to the sidebar. I'm going to set this up as my journaling section. So I popped in probably my favorite box besides the globe. This back to school box it looks super cute. And then I grabbed my um, month sticker, which is this is the first week in August. And those are from Sadie's Stickers. And they just are so versatile. I got them in all three foil colors plus black. So I'm going to use black this week and I decided to layer it over the leftover bottom washi and I just made a little flag and then layered this little ruler washi over it. It looks so cute. I'm just obsessed with that um, layering. It looks just adorable. And then just popping down another um, full box in my sidebar. And then I was looking for some stickers that I could maybe use as deco and I just wasn't finding what I really wanted but I did find this box and I decided to include it in this spread. I've actually had this for more than a year and it's from Scribble Prints Co and I'm using that kit again which is fun so I might use that box in a different spread but I just laid down the 2022 sticker on that um, and I'll use it later. And then just finishing up my journaling section here with my favorite moments and a little space for writing. And then moving on to the actual memories and plans for the week. I'm starting off with noting that this was our first day back with everyone. I did complete several work days ahead of this week. I actually did a vlog for that. Um, if you want to check it out, I will link it down below. But I just wanted to mark that because I love the first day with everyone back. It's just really good to see everybody after the summer. We did have a faculty lunch, which ended up being fajitas. I didn't have any fajitas uh, stickers, but I used this taco one from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. And then below that, like after lunch, we had um, we had a little bit of time to like just chat. And then our superintendent told us to go outside and all of our students and their parents and stuff they were like outside and they made a little tunnel for us to walk through. It was very sweet, but I also noted here it is a little, a little awkward too because we were just um, walking and they were cheering for us. It was, it was awkward, but it was good. <laughs> and then below that full box I put in that um, I had a call with my mom and I was going to put in um, while I was meal prepping, but didn't have room for that, which is fine. And then the videos that went up this week were my goals video on Monday for August, my July monthly highlights on Wednesday, and then Friday's video was that workday blog that I mentioned earlier. So on Tuesday, <laughs> this is 
just something that happens to me, but I just need to like get out my emotions and have a good cry. And I had a really good morning this day, but then I just, I cried. Um, I'm not going to get into like specific reasons why, but it was just kind of building up. And so I'm noting here that this was my first cry of the year and I just got sad for a minute. Um, change is hard and you know, people deal with it in different ways. And I think I was mostly tired and frustrated. I went for a walk when I got home to clear my head. And I decided the best thing I could do was rest and relax. And then after dinner, I read for a while and then went to bed early. Sometimes you just got to put yourself to bed early. And that's the best thing you can do for you. And this was that day for me. So often when I get like super frustrated or like to the point where I can't do anything more for a certain situation, then sometimes I just need to get it out, rest, and start over the next day. And then at the bottom, I have this Glennon Doyle quote that says, the thing that screws us up most is the picture in our head of how things are supposed to be. I love that quote so much. Um, on Wednesday, I put in this half box that says, so many meetings. And then as soon as I wrote that, I was like, wait a minute, you were the one that led most of the meetings. So I put a little note here that I shouldn't complain because I led them. They were really good meetings, but um, they were just a lot. So then I put in that class of 2022 sticker. I think it blends pretty well with the spread and the other full boxes. And then below that, I am going to mark in that I went and got a gift card for my friend Jennifer. It was her birthday this week, and so we kind of pooled our money and got her a massage. She was a little stressed out this week. She's our assistant principal, so you can imagine all of the things that she was responsible for. And then also on this day, we discovered that um, we had some COVID issues already. No one thought that this year was just going to go off without a hitch. But we thought maybe we'd get a smoother start and that just didn't really happen. It was pretty hectic and um, things are just really unknown and we're just kind of taking it day by day. So I used a little once more with Love Munchkin for that. And then on the other side, I wanted to mark in that um, at the very bottom, I finished Outer Banks season two. I really like that show. Like, on the surface, it just looks like a teen drama, but it actually is like exciting and fun and you just kind of root for the characters and I just really like it. I know I'm like 37, but I don't care. I liked it. And then I'm just putting in some of the full boxes, kind of scattering them a little bit. And then on Thursday, I wanted to put in um, that we had really, really great standards-based learning conversations today. And again, leading that little workshop for the teachers. And I put in this quote that says, small progress is still progress. And then to mark in Jennifer's birthday, I put in a little half box and a little emoji. And then I also pulled another emoji to mark in that I paid a really big medical bill, thousands of dollars. It's just a lot. Um, insurance is great, but it's just... Still a lot that I owe from my accident. It sucks, but it just is what it is. Um, and then on Friday, I just put in this a quote that says embrace the process. I just really liked that for this day because um, we got a lot of work done on um, our college career and military readiness uh, program that we're doing this year. It's been really, really good so far. And then this afternoon, we headed out to um, this country country club. <laughs> it's a country club out in the country. And we had a little um, golf scramble. I didn't actually participate in the scramble. I just went around and visited people for a little while. I was just kind of tired and still wanted to like hang out with everybody though. The coaches were like cracking us up and it was just really fun to see everybody. So there's a picture of us in the golf cart riding around and then um, just a picture of the, the people on the teams that I was visiting, golfing. And then on Saturday morning, I had an upset stomach and I know what caused it. It's because I, I got fast food on the way home and it just, it, I just can't keep doing this to myself. I, I know what I'm doing and I do it anyway. 
which sucks. I need to learn this lesson. Um, I did get caught up on Ted Lasso, that show. I know I mention it all the time, but that show's so, so good. It's just so uplifting and sweet, and it just makes me so happy. And I love that full box too. This is um, best teacher ever on the coffee cup. And then at the bottom, I just wanted to mark in that I had a YouTube binge. I kind of had neglected watching YouTube this week. So I just wanted to kind of work on my watch later list. I also set aside some time this evening for just some intentional self-care. And for me, I love to do like skincare and just kind of taking care of my body. It just makes me feel better physically and, you know, in turn emotionally. So just some good self-care time on Saturday night. And then on Sunday here, I just wanted to include a couple of quotes. One of them says, just because you can do more doesn't mean you need to, because I really wanted to set aside some time to rest. Um, the other quote is, there is magic in you. And when you create from a pl place of joy, it flows out through you and makes the world a little bit better than it was before you started. And I just, I loved both of those for this week. Um, I did really um, enjoy that time listening to my body and resting. It was good for me. And then in my journaling section, I just noted that it felt so good to be back in the swing of things, cautiously optimistic. And I have this cute little quote that says, I became a teacher for the money and fame. And my favorite moment of the week was definitely the golf tournament. I just had lots of laughs and lots of fun. So here is this spread all finished up. It looks really cute and so bright and fun. I'm really enjoying this. I love this little kind of moment over here. And then just like the bold patterns. It's just really cute and I like it. It was a good week overall and I am glad that I'm back to work and just ready for the new school year. So I hope that you enjoyed this memory playing with me. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. You can hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I'll see you next time. Bye!